Hey, it's Sol with another episode of Casual Gold. Today we're going to update the famous, well, maybe not so famous, Dreamleaf sheet. As you guys know, I am a big believer in the value of Dreamleaf relative to what you can do with uh, inscription materials. As in, you know, well, basically this, this spreadsheet is designed to calculate the absolute value of Dreamleaf and it'll help you decide, hey, whether or not you're going to uh, sell, uh, sell Dreamleaf or if you're going to uh, break it down into materials or if you're going to make glyphs out of it. Uh, so to this, I cleared out all the previous data that I had from this sheet. Uh, basically what I do, I just mill a whole bunch of stuff. I mill a bunch of Dreamleaf and I open up a bunch of Nightmare Pods. I record the data and I show you what I, and I show you my findings. Now, uh, historically, I have seen that there are some changes that are made from patch to patch. So with the 725 being uh, the 725 patch being in totally full swing right now, I'm going to do an update and I meant to do this for a while. It's, you know, so I uh, I do apologize that it's taken a while for this to come in. Uh, but of course, you can look forward to a 7.3 version of this sheet to be released. And of course, I will provide a, provide a link below so that you can take a look at this sheet for yourself and you can save it, uh, put it on your own Google Drive and you can play around with this and and you know, maybe this will help you make some money. So uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you uh, uh, all the data that I'm going to be collecting. So this might take a while for me, but for you, it's only going to take a couple seconds. So stay tuned and watch me suffer. All right. Wow. This is taken much longer than uh than i thought <laughs> well i mean aside from a couple of hiccups and all, and all that uh it's been about it's been about 45 minutes for me so i'm gonna move on to the nightmare pods here we go Ooh, all right so that should take care of everything let's just make sure that the data is uh all filled out i can't have any blank spaces so let's look at some of these results as long as i didn't screw anything up so if we look at the uh, other sheet and we go to our back end calculations we'll be able to see what kind of variances that that we're seeing i added a new slight thing here so this was the so this was the well, actually let me scroll this a little bit so here there we go so here i have the actual uh dream leaf yield that we got for this session and i also have the previous yield as you can kind of uh sort of see right here i think you can see my mouse cursor here so we see that the dream leaf yield has been buffed by uh by a little bit it's gone from a little uh from 9.17 sallow um uh, it's gone to 9.17 sallow from uh, the previous val value of 882. Basically, you can see the the variance here. From here, the nightmare pod yield that has gone down a little bit, uh, and and I kind of noticed that when I was when I was doing the million and and the opening of stuff, but it hasn't gone down. Uh, but it hasn't gone down by much. Um, the pod of pod yield uh, has gone has gone up a little bit, but this is mostly due to I think this is mostly due to the dream leaf yield, the dream leaf yield just kind of influencing that. Uh, so basically a small uh, a small buff to the yield of mill of milling dream leaf a small nerf to nightmare pods all in all it's not like a huge change i mean if i go here uh, if i go to the front of the sheet and you know let's go ahead and take my character over to an auction house right quick well i guess it's going to take a, a few moments to uh, to teleport for those of you who aren't familiar with this dream leaf sheets you just simply plug in the values uh that you see right here uh in the left hand and left hand corner highlighted in the blue just pump in the values that you see in your auction house and you'll be able to calculate whether or not you should buy dream leaf or you or if you should mill it uh and also you'll be able to get the minimum uh posting values here uh in this in this uh, second column or this lower column here uh, you'll be able to set the kinds of pricings that you want uh, to have for both Vantis runes as well as whatever the heck Legion based glyph that you want to post. And as always, if you wanted if you wanted to post non Legion glyphs, my recommendation is to just pretend that all ink is worth five gold each. Calculate that, and you should be able to be profitable profitable every time that you sell a glyph as long as you sell it for over twenty gold per 
I know that's kind of a lot of information, but I do have pre previous videos that uh, that just kind of uh, gloss over this as well. So let's take a look. I already have a preset kind of thing to do a, to run a search on uh, the typical values that we have in here. Uh, by the way, this is the bleeding hollow realm uh, um, on the on in the U.S. region. Uh, just in case anyone is is curious about uh, pricing and what have you, of course, pricing is going to be different on every realm. Um, so let's take a look at what this scan has in store for us. Let's see. Dreamleaf is looking mighty expensive right now. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and plug these values in. So we see rosite pigment, and I just kind of I just kind of crack this thing open and uh, pump in a value based on the average that I'm seeing, but it looks pretty firm at 6.6 .6 gold. So I plug that in. The Saraline Seed is going for, let's see, a little bit over five. Let's go with, um, let's go with five, let's go with 545 for Sallow. I'm sorry for your Saraline seeds <laughs> for sallow pigment. Uh, it's gone going down a little bit, but we're looking at uh, let's go with 155 gold. Obviously, I'm eyeballing these. So, if you want very very exact values, uh, then you can just kind of get your own average. And then, of course, what is the value of Dreamleaf currently? And this is pretty darn expensive right now. So let's go with let's go with 17.6. For Dreamleaf. All right, cool. So according um, according to this, according to the Dreamleaf sheets, a stack of Dreamleaf is worth three thousand eight hundred eighty three gold and ninety three silver and whatever copper, or it's worth um, nineteen point four two a gold per herb. And this is all based on on all these calculations here. How much is uh, you know how much yield are we getting from Dreamleaf, as well as how much. Uh, you know, as well as how many nightmare pods are we getting, and of course, what do we get from a nightmare pod, as well as whatever we get from a nightmare pod of a nightmare pod. I know it's kind of complicated and wordy, and I'm kind of ran, uh, I'm kind of rambly here, but basically, based on these prices, based on these prices here, if you were looking to profit off of materials, if you want to buy Dreamleaf, hey, go ahead. Uh, you know, this is despite TSM telling you otherwise, um, you can potentially sell at, at this sort of profit. Now, of course, you know, you need, you need to actually sell it, um, in time in order to, in order to uh, make these values run true. So you can do what you want. You can either try to sell it and see, see what you can flip. Or of course you can refer to the, to the glyph pricing, uh, to the glyph crafting prices, uh, here and just sell glyphs. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys an update as to the state of you know just what is Dreamleaf worth, because as a, uh, and to, and to pretty much kind of triple verify that yes, in every patch there is a change to the yield in herbs. And I focus on Dreamleaf because I still feel that Dreamleaf gives you the most bang for your buck. I mean, I you know, doing all this got me a good couple of hundred, uh, a good couple hundred sallow, a couple thousand rosates, and I haven't even cracked open the nightmare pods. And according to this, I have a, a little under, uh, I think I have a little bit less than uh, 300 or so that came out of this, uh, that came out of this milling. Cause I think I had some nightmare pods in my inventory already. Um, and I can't move them to a bank or anything, or I can't move them to my guild bank. Um, so Looking pretty good. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. You guys have a good one. And of course, if you want to take a look at any of the other economy based videos, you can take a look at my playlist that's based on casual gold. So I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good one. And of course, like and sub if you care about this content. I'll see you later and stay breezy.